Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. My name's Graham Boyd, Xbox Live's AC Bongos, and I'm here at Crytek Studio in Frankfurt, Germany, to see Rise, Son of Rome, and specifically a new level called Oswald. Uh, I've just actually found out that in the full game it's going to be called The King. Uh, we're going to speak to the guys behind it, including Chervat Yerli, the uh, studio head, so I cannot wait to see more. Our march north towards the rebel heartland was brutal. Progress was slowed by battle after bloody battle against these embittered tribes. Rome had brought peace, rich trade and prosperity to these isles. This peace had been shattered by open rebellion. Now, finally, we were closing in on the very birthplace of this revolt where King Oswald and his warrior daughter ruled. King Oswald is, uh, is kind of like a far-reaching uh, north of, uh, of Rome, its reach. Um, it's kind of the boundaries of the Roman Empire, and the Romans tried to, like, uh, as we know in the past, the Romans tried to expand the empire. Well, Marius is, is uh, on a journey to take revenge for his family's uh, murder. From a high level, uh, Oswald takes place about uh, roughly halfway through the game and so it takes them kind of deep into the heart of the barbarian, like enemy territory. They're moving their way on through Britannia on their way to York. Um, he's been kind of deemed the mission to go ahead and capture King Oswald. And what are my orders, sir? I promised you blood, didn't I? You will capture Oswald and Boudicca. Before you can get your men through safely, you will need to deal with the archers posted on the aqueduct. So you'll be starting out alone. Understood, sir. And so the basic idea is that, you know, Marius needs to kind of go in alone. It's one of the few times we kind of lone wolf in the game. This way, the legions approach. Position your archers on the roadside and prepare yourselves to fire on my command. You have to clear the aqueduct of all of the archers because uh, they're the ones pinning your soldiers down. And it's the main defense. You'll encounter a lot of barbarian camps where you have to use your combat prowess to kind of get through. And then um, you bust out your pila, your kind of Roman spear, and uh, use it to take out some archers and kind of, yeah, just cause mayhem, basically. You know, we kind of look at Oswald as, as a point in the story where our hero both has to grow up and then see the world the way it truly is, to know that, that maybe not everything's the way that he's always seen it or been brought up. Surrender! Or I'll end you a bloodline. Now! Enough! At the end of the level, we end up at York bringing the barbarian king and, and princess to Rome, essentially. Basilius, who is running Britannia for us. What kind of character is he? He's a trip. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a real kind of pampered silver spoon, kind of given everything and, and expects everything back kind of guy. So he's almost a counterpoint to, to Marius, as well. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, polar opposites. She is beautiful. Flog her until he talks, or she dies. The look and feel of the level. You know, we're, we're in Britannia for Oswald. Yeah. The vegetation's incredible, the foliage moving. I think people will really see those as next-gen yeah. features. You know, we had a lot of discussions early on. It's like, well, where do we go? Do we go to, you know, to uh, the Germanic tribes? And it's like, no, no, let's, let's kind of keep it someplace that we know, which, you know, thank goodness, a lot of the guys on the team, you know, are Brits. I'm from north of the wall, so I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to see what you do up there. They'd be one of the horn guys north of the wall. <laughs> That's right. 